Image copies. Clear the transom. Control copies. Okay, Atlanta, all stations, Atlanta is clear of uh, Nautilus. Control copies. Bridge copies. Nice, solid launch. Uh, your sonar is on. Is my sonar on? Uh, my sonar is on. I don't know about your sonar. My sonar is on. We'll turn them on. It's an audio slate for dive Herc 2001. UTC time is 080900. Mark. You ever had someone just say Mark while you're doing that? I always expect everybody should join in and say Mark. Mm. The same time that I do. Mark. 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 No, no, no. At the same time that I do. Well, Mark. Stephanie, was that? <laughs> that was me. Get out of my head. <laughs> Mark, was that you? It's uncanny. <laughs> I know. It's disturbing. <laughs> do you think uh, once we're back to shore and, like, off in our own separate ways, we will still do that and nobody will know? Mark. For, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> will just feel like a force like an energy through us and it'll be like a shiver down the spine or something ooh
Once we get to 50, we can hold position. Or wait until the, till they hand over. Oh, right, yeah. Gotcha. There's nobody on deck. It's weird. No, deck frog. Where'd duck frog go? What happened? Malfectomy. Oh. oh. Ugh. Wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. <laughs> can we go to uh, ROV cams? Uh, I'm gonna wait till we're at 50 so they can watch the winch. Roger. I'm pretty sure they're doing training as well, so. Mm. New generation of winchers. All stop at five zero. Yeah, all stop at five zero. Control is taking control. Can you do give it a bump? Oh, but that, you have control. Just give it a bump to make sure we got it first before stick. Yeah, we got it. Good. We can keep going, and okay. we can hold position. Uh, bridge control. Let's go control. This is the bridge. Two five. Can we please hold position? Copy that. Hold position. Roger. Right, turn on the triclopulator. Where are we? Science. Triclops. Descending at 25 meters a minute. Garage. Hello, everybody. Good, good morning, good evening. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Is this a good time for introductions? <gasps> um, no, because I need to finish writing this update first, so give me like three minutes. Roger. Is this a good time for three minutes to introductions? Yes. All right. Mark. 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 So it looks like we're going to have at least an hour of bottom time here. Knock on wood. Well, that was way louder than I expected. I'm sorry, Ouch. everybody. That Ouch. was terrible. Yeah, I'm it sounded hollow, Can too. I take that back? Okay, how are we looking? What if I stop this? Is it time for dive salvo? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. Are we there yet? <laughs> yeah. We're in the ocean. Oh, wow. Where else do you want to be? Launch complete. We got about two sitcoms to sit through. <laughs> da, da, da. It's time. Who is uh? Quite expeditious, three minutes. What? Very fast. Expeditionary. Oh, yeah. Exuberant. I didn't write much. 
Okay, um, let's do introductions. And I thought I spent the whole day thinking of a fun way we can introduce ourselves. Oh, great. Okay, so you don't have to this time, Trevor. I thought of it. Um, so how this <laughs> is going to work is I will say a phrase that one of you commonly says, and you have to figure out who it is and then introduce yourself. That's a great idea. Yeah. Awesome. Right? We have catchphrases now. They wouldn't, I, I tried to think of like what catchphrases would be, but like I can't, I can't remember. So this is just, I don't know, something that one of you uh, might say at some point that I remember. Um, so I'll go first, because I always just introduce myself. Um, I'm Stephanie Wenger, a natural science and children's book illustrator aboard the EV Nautilus as a science communication fellow. Um, here, I think that's, that's Stephanie. That's, yes, sure. that's yeah. me. <laughs> Got it um, once. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So Got let's it. do the first one. The first one's going to be that's a squat, minidopsies. <laughs> <laughs> my, my name is Rob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you on SPL, Paula? Paula, are you? Yeah, you have to hit the. Yeah, we, you can't talk. You can't talk. No, the other one. There you go. I can talk. Now uh, you can talk. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. I'm Paula Rodriguez. I'm um, part of the wonderful team this year in the EV Nautilus, uh, specifically in the science team. And out of the sci out of the Nautilus, I am a postdoc researcher in the Museum of Comparative Zoology. Uh, I study squat lobsters, especially immunidopsis. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so the next one, ready for this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Hello, everyone. I'm Annabelle Baker. Um, I am the Atlanta pilot uh, on this 8 to 12 watch. Uh, I'm also the ROV intern uh, for this cruise on the EV Nautilus. When I'm not on the EV Nautilus, I am an undergraduate student at Oregon State University studying ecological engineering. Go Beavs! Nice. <laughs> Go Beavs. All right, ready for the next one? Oh, ho, ho, cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hi everyone. <laughs> That's really funny. Like, I've been wondering what, like, you, what you were going to say, and then uh, you know, you um, really got that. Like, yeah. Okay, <laughs> hi everyone. I am Elias Adidion. I'm a graduate student at the University of New Hampshire, majoring in ocean engineering, ocean mapping. You know, I love mapping, and um, on board the EV Nautilus, I'm a navigator, and um, I'm also an ocean mapper. And uh, yeah, it's been a nice time, you know, being with this uh, great group of people, like on this um, 8 to 12 wash. This is our last um, dive for this expedition, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, it's been a very great time with you guys. So yeah, thank Couldn't you agree everyone. More. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Thank you. You know the bingo people are going to love this. <laughs> 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 All right, next one. Wow, that's a nice sheet flow. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. <laughs> this is really cool. Oh, oh, look at the squad lobster. Does this go on the soundboard? <laughs> it could. Hello, I'm I'm Rob Picolini. I'm wash lead of this obnoxious eight to twelve. <laughs> I'm also the uh, geologic lead of this expedition, and uh, I'm from the University of Rhode Island. Thanks. All right, next one. Wave to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wave to my mom. <laughs> you tell us to wave to our moms. Oh. You were a okay. hard one. You know, zoom in would have been. You know, the, the yeah, but no. Trevor That's says zoom in. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Dave Robertson, uh, lead video That's engineer uh, for this expedition, and sitting in the video seat, zooming in on things. Uh, pleasure to uh, sail with all of you. 
Uh, and uh, if you play your cards right, there might be a treat later on. In the <laughs> Ooh. Okay. If anyone um, wants chocolate covered coffee beans, maybe now is the last chance to do that and still sleep. If you want them, they're right there. Just holler at me. <laughs> All right. Next one. Let's zoom in on that squishy, eh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not the A. <laughs> Brutal. Not accurate. <laughs> That's not how that's used. <laughs> Maronke. <laughs> Dave, go for it. <laughs> that's one of that one. <laughs> I'm Trevor. I'm a Herc driver, this person. Uh, this is Cruise 32 for me. On board, EV not less. Wonderful. Nice. Okay. Ready? All right, the next one is, did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, that's me. I'm Maronke Harris. I am a science manager in training on the Nautilus and a data logger on the 8 to 12 shift off the Nautilus. I'm a PhD student at the University of Victoria. I study hydrothermal events and the bacteria that live on them and how those community change along the life cycles of vents. Vent fact? Vent fact. <laughs> Do you have one? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> um, okay, did you know that there are three geological features along which vents occur? Earlier on, if you've been following along in our watch, you know that 65% 65 65 of hydrothermal vents are found on mid-ocean ridges, but where are the rest of them found? So the rest of them are found on back arc basins. And I'm forgetting the third location because <gasps> I only study mid-ocean ridges, but just know that there are three geological locations. Maybe Rob can fill it. It's playing charades back <laughs> here. Converging. Transform Lost faults. City. Yeah. Transform faults. Transform faults and back arc basins and mid-ocean ridges. There you go. What was that second one? The back one? Back arc basin. What's a back arc basin? Yeah. That's also a please. good question for Google. <laughs> <laughs> we have one one more introduction to make. Are you ready? Just this one. What do those green dots mean? Oh, it's chat. It's chat. Yeah. <laughs> good one. That's good. <laughs> Welcome, chat. Uh, you are open, or we are open, for you to ask us your questions. Um, we are currently uh, uh, descending our vehicles um, down to an uncharacterized flat-topped geo in the northern portion of Sculpin Ridge, um, wherever that is. Is that near the atoll? It's right where we nope. are. That's where we're at. Yeah. Um, and we're diving down to like 2,800 meters. Cool. Getting back to back arc basins, they're a lot like mid ocean ridges, but their evolution isn't from necessarily continents pulling apart. What happens at convergent zones, typically where you have oceanic crust going underneath oceanic speed crust, Roger, you have fast. melting occurring, 80, 30. and 30. It, you create Roger. an arc of volcanoes, and over time, if it occurs long enough and the right conditions are right, you could actually have spreading behind the arc system. So the area north of uh, New Zealand is probably the most famous one, but you also have like Marianas has a back arc basin as well, Philippine Sea. So a lot of them in the western part of the Pacific is where you get most of these back arc basins. Well, that's good to know, thanks. Well, yeah, I learned something new. <laughs> I couldn't really hear Rob. Like, how's this? But a little better, yeah. That's worse. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kidding. Roger, descending at 30 meters a minute. I like my catchphrase. I didn't realize I was saying, did you know <laughs> that much? Uh, I, but. <laughs> yeah. No, there's a great comment from chat. Our team is not available to answer questions at this time. <laughs> <laughs> I, they, like, I don't know. The, the thing lags sometimes when I put available for questions. And then I think you need to, like, refresh your page every now and then if it's, like, if we're switching into uh, available for question mode. So... Um, yeah, so everyone on um, channel 3... Uh, 
Dave put up the, what do we call this map? The hat pack? High pack. The high, high pack. pack? Yeah, that's the software high pack. The high pack map that shows us where we are. It yeah, let me try to zoom out a bit. And um, what are we hoping to see tonight? My pillow. Um, <laughs> I think the bottom. <laughs> Woo. Uh, I hope so. All right, maybe, yeah. All right, let me rephrase the question. What is... It's a low bar. <laughs> but we might, we might really, really low. Yeah, exactly. What are we hoping, we as in the collective of Nautilus, hoping to see on our dive? It's a collective dive. Some rocks. Some squat, humidopsis, mediodopsis, whatever. Yeah. What is it called? Minidopsis. 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 Yeah. M U N I D O S I S. But um, probably uh, I pronounce it Minidopsis because my Spanish accent. But Minidopsis would be the correct pronunciation, right? In English. I just struggle with pronouncing uh -huh. anything yeah, me too. at all, let alone biology words, so. It's hard. It's really hard. Yeah, we expect to find some rocks, uh, some deep water corals, sponges. We also want to find new associations, new um, species, new um, geographic records that could span the distribution range of some species. And yeah, also we want to see fishes and uh, do close zooms to get the closest size ideas possible. And also we want to see the geomorphology. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna start in a, uh, a sloping area ramp that I would call that goes up to the base of the cliff. And we'll probably start out with some uh, talus and sediments and blocks of uh, whatever's above. And I think the uh, the cliff, as we've seen in most of these dives, is probably some sort of basalt or lava low flows. Mm -hmm. Give me some nice sheet flows, so to speak. And uh, what's really interesting when you get to the top, the orange portion of the uh, map, there's an interesting ledge. It'll be not really sure if that's the edge of a flow front or if that could be the edge of a coral reef that happens. We see several of those ledges farther into the uh, top of the skeel, which is quite wide. It's like 30 kilometers wide. It's, it's good big. And so it'll be interesting to see if those are flow fronts or if they're uh, reefs at different stands. But there's also some interesting little peaks on top of this uh, mesa-like uh, guillot. Uh, Seamount. So, could be anything. Hopefully, we can get there. There's a lot of sediment on top, as we saw coming in in the sub bottom. So, hopefully, we can see some s structures when we get on top. There's a few different kind of ledges, benches, whatever. Yeah, that's what's really interesting about this place. It's really unique. The the high pack map. Yep. Um, it's actually really beautiful. Yeah. It's like the Christmas. I guess because of the, the ledges and the benches and everything. Yep. But it's layered really nicely. Yeah. Um, so we are going to be diving for about 12 hours. So I think we're hoping to come up at about, what is it now, like 10.30 right now? Um, uh, 10.30 a.m. Uh, Pacific Hawaii time, I think we're on. Hawaii standard time. Hawaii standard time. So 12 hours. Take one, pass it on. Thank you. Yes. Snacks? Snacks. No one's going to take me up on the chocolate covered coffee beans, eh? I might, but my stomach kind of hurts from all the popcorn I ate. Before. Oh, no. <laughs> what are those? Ooh, fruit. I'll have right a couple beans. Foot. Okay. <gasps> Wait, is Annabelle feeding us right now? Yeah. Aww. Aww. Thank you, Annabelle. Thank you, Annabelle. I need to get rid of them. Thank you, Annabelle. <laughs> Say, I don't like you guys that much. <laughs> well, well, why do we have chicken legs back here? <laughs> do you want some of this soup? <laughs> How about those prunes? <laughs> oh, yum. Tastes like cherries.
I made barbecued ribs. If anyone wants some, I got some back here. <laughs> Cornbread. That actually sounds delicious. Actually, it does. <laughs> Um, we've talked about this off SPL, but I'm super hyped to get back to shore and get myself a pumpkin spice latte because they came out yesterday, not sponsored, um, but I just, oh, I can't wait for the fall and the pumpkin spice. Not a fan of PSLs, gotta say, but I'm very happy for you. Thank this you. This is your time to shine. <laughs> Not yet. Three days, four <laughs> days. I don't even know if it would hit the same having one in Hawaii as opposed to having one back in Pennsylvania. Mm. I feel like Hawaii doesn't really get, you know, falls like I do. Does Pennsylvania get nice golden leaves? Oh, yeah. Beautiful out there. It's like for two or three weeks or whatever it is. Oh, more than that. Is it? Oh, cool. How long? I don't know. But basically all of October, given, you know, the right, uh, you know, climate or whatever for the year. Um, the whole golden forest. Yeah. That's wonderful. The colors are really spectacular. Um, and then there is like a town... Uh, called New Hope um, that's about like an hour from Philadelphia that apparently has one of the best fall scenic drives on the East Coast. Chat wants to know what food we all want once we hit land. Sushi. Sushi. Poke, yeah. Sushi. <laughs> a Big Mac. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Misubi. Mm-hmm, me too. You guys won't know the name if I say it. It's Nigerian food. <laughs> yeah, explain <laughs> it. <laughs> what? Do you want to, like, describe it? McNugget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's solid. Like, like um, we don't usually have it. It's more like um, um, like pasta, but... It, yeah, it's like pasta, but it's more solid than that. I don't know how, to, I don't know how best to describe it. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I miss I miss those. <laughs> what, what kind of flavor does it have? Um, like some like um, yam flour. Okay. Yeah, another okay. one is like um, corn. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we have different um, flavors. Do you yeah. make it at home? Yeah. Yeah, we like we go to the African market to like to get the like the food stuff and we like make mm -hmm. it ourselves. Yeah. So. I miss those. <laughs> I'm sure it tastes really good. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah. Here's a fun one, Elias. Is jollof rice Ghanaian or Nigerian? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I say that because I'm half Ghanaian and he's Nigerian, so it's a feud as old as time. <laughs> yeah, like Nigerians and Ghanaians, they're always, you know, competing like for the best jollof rice. <laughs> is it? Is it a friendly? Competitiveness, or is it like sometimes? No, yeah, yeah, you <laughs> 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 They've been pretty civil on board, as far as I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, um, Elias was the only one not being mean to Moronke that one time. <laughs> 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 Chat, we're just joking. We're not mean to Moronke. We love her. <laughs> I heard slight chewing in the <laughs> SPL and I was gonna I was gonna say who's chewing into the mic, but it was me. <laughs> 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 I That's thought I really was funny. on mute, but I wasn't. <laughs> what flavor fruit by the foot is this? Is this raspberry? Mine's blue. I think 
I think that's raspberry. All of you watching at home, you can watch us uh, munch on our fruit by the foot on channel three. <laughs> You know, a riveting window into the world of deep sea exploration. That's the EV Nautilus. Mm-hmm. I like to um, pull like a good length of mine out and kind of eat it like a rabbit eats lettuce. <laughs> I had fruit by the foot earlier today at dinner when I dropped the can pear next to my shoe. Mm. <sighs> that one made me choke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was a good one. <laughs> I unroll the whole thing and then eat it from the middle, sideways. Why? <laughs> actually, I actually eat it like a cor uh, corn on the cob, one end to the other, just a little bit at a time. <laughs> this when flavor I, is a little bitter. When I was a kid, I'd make it That's into a paper. Mobius strip. <laughs> 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 Rob, you're starting rumors that I eat paper. Well, I mean, geologists lick rocks, and you're an artist. I did so. lick the rock, though. <laughs> I licked a rock. I think we all licked the rock. I'd like to put it on the record that I did not lick rock. <laughs> Some geologist you are. <laughs> I'm not. Did you cut a rock, Maronke? <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh. Try the rock? Cut it. Oh, no, not yet. Okay, but you're going to lick it after you cut it, no? Is that part of the deal? I wasn't aware. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't have to, but... Everybody's mm. doing it. Come on. Do we get, <laughs> Do we get an extra star on our certificate if we lick it? What well, if we're handing out stars, I'll lick the rock. <laughs> <laughs> Has everyone, who, who hasn't cut a rock in the control van? Me. And Trevor. And oh, yeah, Rob hasn't even cut <laughs> one. <laughs> I, I don't There's have to. I have all these great interns. <laughs> Wait, who has cut a rock in, in the control van? Me. One, two. There's only two of us. Wait, Trevor, so you licked it, but you didn't cut it? I just found it. <laughs> you see Trevor sneaking into the wet lab in the middle of the night? <laughs> Schmeagling through the boxes and licking the rash. <laughs> Precious. Precious, I love it. Did NASA just launch a rocket? Uh, SpaceX did. Oh yeah, I guess we got to do this thing, don't we? Four astronauts oh. going to the ISS. NASA's, yeah. Crew 7. I never remember. Chat said um, they launched at the same time we launch. Right on. <laughs> and chat's here. <laughs> <laughs> What's better, space or the ocean? Ocean and space. <laughs> space planet, ocean. Space planet. <laughs> space planet, ocean, science, rocket, ROV. <laughs> rocket with an ROV on it. <laughs> That's what this one was designed for. Ooh. Underneath some ice on some silly thing. Poke around. I don't know what they're doing. Go under the ice and look at the bottom of the ice on some ice planet. Or moon Sounds or like something. fun for know. the tether. <laughs> How do you do tether management when there's like a 15, you, 30 minute latency? I don't know. Did you just say it was on a different planet? No, well, not now, but they're hoping they to They want it day. to be there. So would the tether attach from that planet to here? To the Pacific Ocean, yeah. No. <laughs> No, it's a long <laughs> tether. No. And it's no. all fiber optic, and if there's one rack. <laughs> <laughs> Between here and Pluto. Can uh, you explain the wraps? 
Uh, yeah, so our tether is has electric wire and fiber optic cable in there. Um, and fiber optic, I guess how it works is that the light like goes in one end and then it goes straight out the other end. Um, like a that's crazy not a, straw. Not a great way to explain it, I guess. But uh, when the fiber is bent, the light has to go around the curve and it loses some, some light and some efficiency. So the more bends and wraps in the tether, uh, the less light we'll have coming out the other end. And if you get a certain amount of bending and wrapping and even kinking in the tether, there might not be any light coming out the other end and then we'll lose communications. How do you know if there's a wrap? Uh, well, we have a thing for that. Like a <laughs> sensor? We just have a tally. Every time you turn right, make a tick mark. Every time you turn left, make another tick mark. Will turning left get rid of the turning there right? Some kind of big floppy right above the starboard bio box, and then it and then it went away. Hmm. Fish, maybe. Like a big orange floppy. I don't know what it was. A jelly. Jelly. Yeah, jelly maybe fish. jellyfish. Squishy. S squishy. Uh, yeah, the software so keeps started. To yeah. close the loop on that, the software keeps track of it all for us. We turn right, it adds it up. We turn left, it negatives the sizes it. Oh, okay. Subtracts it is the word I'm looking for. So wow. you can like get rid of wraps yeah. by, by turning, turning around turning the other way. Yeah. Well, and then and then we can also look for wraps manually with the cameras. Um, well, more so for like loopies and things. Right? Yeah. Yep. And it you can do it yourself with your uh, headphone cable. You know. You plug into the into the My headset. Headphone cable's a mess. Yeah, well, you get some wraps in your tether. <laughs> some wraps in my tether. But if you go stand up and then spin around four times, it'll either get worse or better. I just um, take off my headset and let it dangle and let it unspin on its own. Mm -hmm. Doesn't work for her. Kirk's not so good at that, no. <laughs> <laughs> but we just play ring around the rosy until it zeroes again. Mm -hmm. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Um, chat said, y'all know India just landed a, a rover on the moon? I did know yes, that. Yes, yeah. the South Pole. Mm -hmm. And uh, Google had the cutest little Google animation for it. What? I guess no one said anything. I'm hearing things now. The chat is optimistic. We'll see lots of squat lobsters. On the moon? He's yes. Chad, that's the <laughs> moon. <laughs> <laughs> Follow up. Moon lobster. That's a good name. What would you do if they discovered squat lobsters on the moon? Mm. Apply to the astronaut corps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They are looking for water. There's a good chance that there's water. And if or there's at least water, ice. there's there could lobsters. Be squat. <laughs> could yeah. Be. It's a natural shrimp. progression. Shrimp. <laughs> yes. That shrimp is struggling. There will be bacteria. Yep. Instead of a squat lobster. Is bacteria considered life? Yes. <laughs> so offended. <laughs> Absolutely. Perfect. Well, I just wanted to make sure I cleared that up before I said yeah, they're looking if, for life if, on the moon is what they're looking for. If the object uh, would have been virus, okay. Mm -hmm. But bacteria, no. There could be one real big lobster. <laughs> it could be just, just one. one. Like, it could just be the one. whole size of the other half of the moon. Moonster. <laughs> Moonster. <laughs> Moonster lobster. Squad Moonster. <laughs> Squad Moonster. <laughs> God Godzilla versus Moonster. <laughs> yeah, some people are asking about Delta Dan, why he's not out. He's out for every other cruise this year. Okay. Yeah. Delta Dan got a little time off, so he can go back to being a gentleman farmer. They've been asking in about the Willamette River Valley. They've been asking about Delta Dan this whole expedition, but I didn't know who that was, so I just didn't say anything. 
Yeah. Bishop meet Dan Cormany, uh, ROV guy. And uh, when he's off the ship, he's a gentleman farmer in uh, Oregon. He farms gentlemen? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we have to come from somewhere. Oh. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's so pleased with herself. <laughs> Smug scientist cam. <laughs> would any of you go into space if you could? Yeah. I would. Um, yeah. Definitely. I applied to be an astronaut. Oh, yeah? I got to like the fifth round of 14. Something like that. That's pretty Gosh. good. I didn't make the top 300. But I made, I don't know, there was how many thousands of applicants. And I That's, made. I didn't think there'd be so many. This is for the Canadian Space Agency. I think that was uh, five years ago. Wow. wow. Well, congrats. That's still pretty good. I think I did all right. I didn't have enough PhDs or pilot's licenses. Yeah. They're like, you're going to live remote places with people that you can't get far away from. I'm like, got it. All right. Maybe some robotics. I'm like, all right, we're good. And uh, you're not going to see home for months. All right, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to do any, like, physical tests? No, I didn't get that far. Oh. They asked him if he minded doing his own laundry, and he said, oh, no. no <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. Make my own meals? Pff, no. <laughs> Squeeze your own meals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the astronaut food. I I would like to see space, but I don't know if I'd want to like stay up there for any prolonged period of time. Oh yeah, I wouldn't want to spend like two years up there or something crazy. But I don't know for a trip that'd be rad. Yeah. Yeah, for a little for a little trip for fun, maybe do a little bit of like psycom from space. That'd be cool. Yeah. Just to know for sure if the Earth is round or flat. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> gosh. Huh. Dangerous territory. <laughs> I'm kidding, everybody. We're inside the sphere. <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't stars, that's the cities across the world. Do you imagine if that was true? That Sometimes so I wonder, you know, I'm Horton, here's a who? The movie uh, or mm -hmm. the book where the the speck of dust is like the Who world, and mm -hmm. it's on the dandelion. Sometimes I wonder if if that could be us. If we're the speck of dust. Yeah. Yeah, I think about that a lot. I think that uh, planets are probably atoms or subatomic particles in greater molecules. It loops all the way around. There's some science for you. Nope. Or this is all a simulation. Simulation by Horton? Yes, the <laughs> elephant. <laughs> Horton simulates a who. <laughs> I don't know why that caught me. <laughs> Fruit by the foot has mind-altering uh, capabilities. No, she had some beans. So. It was oh, the beans, was the yeah. Beans. It, was, it was the beans. <laughs> the beans. Oh, the coffee beans? The beans. Ooh, the beans. You should try one. They're I, good. No, yeah, I want a bean. Now I want the beans. Oh, never saw an arm come out of the front before. Pardon me. <laughs> Didn't we uh, agree we were going to be nice to each other this morning? <laughs> Are we not being nice? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was actually a little... Um, I wasn't hostile. What's the word? I was... A little cheeky? Maybe, yeah, a little cheeky earlier. <laughs> We've all had our cheeky moment. Dave, do you want to pass this back to Trevor? Thank you. Getting cheeky on the 8 to 12. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was before the 8 to 12, but it was still between 8 and 12, so. It's chocolate-covered coffee beans. Are you a coffee drinker? 
Go beans. Well. Go beans. <laughs> no. You're welcome to, but. Don't think it's tasty? You know, it's really all not that tasty. What, coffee? The chocolate covered beans, like the bean part. Yeah, I mean, it's not. I don't know, I thought they were good. No, I love them, but if you think about it. I mean, I l cho chocolate's good. And coffee. Hmm. Coffee is sometimes good. Good coffee's good. I picked this cruise to go off coffee. I was too addicted. Oh. It's been a hard cruise. Yeah. <laughs> Trevor, <laughs> that's what this I is not use. the cruise for it. Yeah. But I've, since, I think I had my normal level of coffees for the first week, and since then I've had four cups maybe, and the headaches are starting to subside. It's great. Wow. Like four cups total? Total, yeah, yeah. Wow. wow. Good for you. Yeah, and like probably, I don't know, a dozen beans? Dozen maybe, beans. Maybe two dozen beans over the, yeah, over three weeks. Wow, because I could eat a dozen beans in one sitting. That's uh, unwise maneuver, I think. Well, it's about as many as a cup of coffee. Really? Yeah. Wow. And fun fact, chocolate-covered coffee beans, generally you get an equal to or greater than uh, amount of caffeine from the chocolate than you do from the coffee beans. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, when I'm back home and I buy myself, like, one of those plastic, I guess, I don't know what the size are, those plastic containers in them, um, I'll eat, like, a quarter to a half of that container. Oh, you're buzzing, eh? Boy, howdy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Doesn't get me um, as frazzled as the yerba mate, though. Ooh. The yerb. The yerb. The dreadful yerb. <laughs> that gets my skeleton dancing. Yerb. <laughs> what does that taste like? I've never had it. Yerba mate? Yeah. It's really good. Um, they have a couple different flavors. Uh, I like the mint one, which I forget what that's called. It, it's Enlightened Mint. And I like the Blue Foria <laughs> one. Okay. Which is blueberry. Is it stronger than coffee on the caffeine it's scale? It's tea. Oh, tea. God, so it's just I don't know. Probably. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really, it's like, makes my skeleton jump out of my skin. It's got, mm -hmm. it, I feel like it's about the same amount of caffeine, maybe a little more than coffee, but it's got, like, herbal, powers. herbal powers that <laughs> really, yeah. Br bring it up a notch. Really I, bring it up a notch. I recommend it, though. I do. It's really good for finals. Hmm. I'll have to try it. See what it's about. Don't have one at dinner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take I your mean, morning. <laughs> you'll be up late. I drink them all throughout the day. Whoa. Stephanie, you are strong. <laughs> Wild child. Maybe that's why I'm bad at sleeping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to work at a Whole Foods in the meat department, and my shift was like 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. to like 2 or 3. So, like, I'd have a yerba mate in the beginning rather than coffee because, like, the back of the meat department was chilled, so coffee would just get cold real fast. So I'd have a yerba mate, and then I'd be, like, extremely tired by 12 or 1 or 2, so I'd just have another yerba mate. And then I'd go home and have the rest of the day to, like, do stuff. Dang. It was great. Oh no. Uh, Madison wanted us to highlight our intro, but I didn't see that message. We're going to have to do it all again. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Ready? <coughs> no. Oh, do we have uh, two questions? Uh, did everyone win a sticker? And is there a word of the watch? Um. Dave didn't win a sticker. I did not win a sticker. I really don't know what word to give Dave to have him win a sticker. Spoon feed it, yeah. Just 
Just give Dave a sticker. I was gonna just give Dave a sticker, especially because Dave's <laughs> been giving it. us snacks. I'm gonna give it to my granddaughter anyway. So. Aww. Aww. How old? 13. <laughs> <laughs> she loves stickers. I was curious because I brought a couple coloring books. Nah. That if Dave I, will take those though. You might want a coloring <laughs> well, book. I have, I, have the, I have a two year old <laughs> granddaughter that I'll be seeing next week even. So. I'll show you them. Okay. See if you want one. Yeah. Um, She's uh, not quite ready for staying in the lines. It's mostly just like... Yeah, oh, I oh. mean... Yeah. We were all... We've all been there. Yeah. Um, and the word of the watch... Uh, I... Uh, <laughs> um, Is it butcher at all? <laughs> no. Oh. There will, will be one, be? I Just promise. say yes and it's all over with. You know. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> um... Does someone else want to think of a word of the watch? Is it? Uh, oh, yeah, I got one. Okay. What is it? Is it Votriano? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Ding, 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 ding. Does chat want to think of a, a word of the watch? Ooh, we're crowdsourcing it. Yeah, let's crowdsource. Chat, think of I something for me. I can't look at it. Dave, or not Dave, sorry. Uh, Rob's disqualified, so. Okay. Oh, <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Well, he, just, he, <laughs> reads, question. he reads the chat. Yeah, unrelated to anything. It's just. <laughs> Why is everybody always picking on me? <laughs> Soon because, will be nothing but a memory. <laughs> I'm putting in a highlight for our um, thing, Stephanie. Because I know it happened between in a 20-minute period between my two logs. Oh, it happened. Cool. At, uh, talking the intros. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to say it happened at 19 minutes past the hours when it started. Oh, That's wait. exactly what I put in. I nice. could look yeah. too. Wow. Yeah. Because you said it would take you three minutes from 17 minutes past the hour, and it, it didn't. It took you two minutes, and I was like, wow, that was an expedious it happened three minutes. 42 minutes and 33 seconds ago. Yeah. Sounds about right. It's already been so long. I'm gonna miss everybody. Chat, that can't be the word because we've already said squat lobsters. Oh, this is Lob Squadster. Lob Squadsters. But no one's gonna say lob squatster. Chat, you yeah. when you when you think of a word. <laughs> it has to be one that we might say like Moonster. or that they'll guess. <laughs> Moonster. <laughs> or deck frog or something like that. But it can't be any of those words that Trevor just said. What about butcherodal? <laughs> ding 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 ding. Yeah. No. Um, oh. real question though, how was this dive location chosen? Uh do you have the dive plan? I'm just looking at Rob for the answer. <laughs> well, it's partially uh, <clears throat> to make it easier for us to get back to port. Uh, we're time limited right now, so we're trying to find something that would be not too much of a deviation or need any sort of uh, additional mapping so we can maximize our bottom time. And this was a target that we had uh, identified in meetings this past March as a possible target. And so uh, that's the main reason we're here. The I'm convenience, the, camera. the time, and as uh, a target, something we had identified before. Cool. So we're on the northern portion of Sculpin Ridge. Yeah. So why is it, why is it called Sculpin Ridge? Mm. Well, I don't know, I didn't look at the, the details of it, but there was a, I think a submarine called the Sculpin, but Sculpin is also a fish. Oh. oh okay. And Bill Sculpin used to live here. Ah. Uh, is he really. related to Bobby Argus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, that, yeah, that was a joke. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so we have three words of the day. Whoa. Ooh. Wow. All right. And are they all single words, or do we have any double? There oh. is a single word, a sound, and a triple word. Boop. Not boop, but I Bonk. like that. 
Oh, bonk would have been a good one, but not bonk. What else is there? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the you make I, think, I think any of those four would be good. Yeah. Should I do all four? Yeah. All right. There's four. One's a, a single word. One's a single word. One's a sound word. And one is a three word. Boy trioidal. Yes. No. Oh, it will man. never be boy trioidal. Why? So the one word is related to what? Biology, geology. Okay. So. <laughs> The, 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 they're more adjectives. Yeah, word number one's an adjective. Word number two is an adjective. Uh, sound is a sound. And uh, the phrase is... A phrase. A phrase. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we cleared that up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> floaty? Floaty. Nope. Mm. No, but there was a floaty. I know, I saw it. <laughs> yeah. But I heard the tone in What'd their voice. Say? Gorgeous. Squishy. Ding, ding, ding. What? Squishy. Squishy. Chet chose squishy. Cool. That was already one, wasn't it? Um, I said squishy before, but it doesn't count if I say the word. No, but I mean, that's the one I want to stick around. Oh, yeah, but I'm, I'm having chat choose the word, and they chose uh, squishy. Chose a repeat. Chat, yeah. disappointed. It's OK. <laughs> they <laughs> disappointed they, in you. They you do this for different dyes. Their heads, chat. <laughs> Don't listen to Trevor. Chat, you can do better. No. <laughs> Sample salvo. No, but that's Ooh, a good one. Mm. Dive salvo. No. Oh, I know what it is. Bubble on porch or bubble on craft? Bingo! Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yeah. When you know, you know, you know. The <laughs> phrase was bubble on porch. Okay. <laughs> Chat, come on, we need it back on the gauges. <laughs> Please write in bubble on gauges, otherwise I don't know how I'll see them. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. That was a good one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's just an adjective left and a sound. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> close. That's close. <laughs> oh? No. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. 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 Well, it it was an onomatopoeia is like bonk. It was actually whoa, but you know, was, whoa, yeah. wow. But they, the way they typed it, this was super chatter, Jason. The way he typed it, you know, really gave the feeling of like us going like wow. Uh, so like we're not like uh, really when we see something, we're not really audibly saying anything. We're kind of just making noises. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Well, we've already whittled it down to one left. We're a little too competitive in this band. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, stickers. I don't know if we really... We don't use that word that often. We don't really often. use the word that often. So the blame adjective? it on Rob. He, gonna I was going to admit it, but we're going to... He wanted and to go And it's an for adjective? It. Yep. Yeah. Well, we have uh, about 54 minutes left. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anybody got, like, elevator music or... I do, actually, yeah. Do -do. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to sing it or are you going to... Do -do. I think this is, I think this is Mario Bros. Music. Yep. Oh, that's a siphonophore. Heck yeah. Ding, 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 ding. That's a siphonophore. Now I want to play. We should just do a couple of rounds of Baby Shark or something. No, please. <laughs> no. Save the chat. No, please. Save everyone here. Blue water karaoke. How about baby chana cups? Oh, blah 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 blah. <laughs> I'll always remember the baby Chonikovs. So sweet. Uh, yeah, and just a reminder, chat, this is our last dive of this expedition. Um, NA-153 to the Johnson Atoll. 
So savor the flavor while it lasts. Um, I think we launch for our next expedition September, early September, like September 2nd, I want to say. Um, you can see all of our expeditions if you go to nautiluslive.org and click on the expedition um, banner at the top and then scroll down a little bit. So we're currently on deep sea biodiversity and ancient seamount exploration near Johnson Atoll, August 2nd to the 29th. The next dive is, oh, or the next expedition, I'm sorry, starts September 1st and it's to <laughs> <laughs> Ala Amoana Kai Uli in Papawana Mauna Kea Marine National Monument. Was that close? A for effort. Papahanao Mokuakea. Was that it? That's it. I'm sorry, everybody. I tried my best to pronounce it. Um, but that starts September 1st. I wouldn't so. be able to do it either, so. I remember in, in March we practiced it a bunch, but that was in March. Yeah. And the, it wasn't my expedition, so I didn't keep thinking about it. All right. Oh, now. <laughs> um, chat says the Chanakops is their spirit animal. So when we were interviewing for the SCF positions, um, they asked us all a question that like really threw everybody. Oh, can you ask us? Yeah. So picture you're in an interview for like a position that you really want and you're already nervous and you're like, you know, just trying your best to be the best you, you could be, right? And then they throw, the, they throw you this question out of the blue and it was if you could be any um, mineral, uh, plant or animal, what would you be? Hmm. What did you choose? What would it mean um, to be I a panicked? mineral? And I looked around my like office and I thought of my tattoo of a sea otter and I said sea otter. And then they asked why. <laughs> and I was like, um, because sea otters just like to float around and hold hands. And I love floating around and holding hands. That's very cute. Um, Wholesome. And, and then I was like, That's but great. I heard they're mean and I'm not mean. So not that <laughs> part of the sea otter. <laughs> That's so, so interesting that they asked that question. Yeah, and then um, interesting. at the forum, there was like a guessing game, and we had to guess everybody's animal. Oh, nice. And me and this other SCF like went really hard, and we were like deep investigating, and we won, both yeah. of us. We got all 24. Wow. wow. Wait, as in you <coughs> linked up animals and people, or you looked at a person and said, I bet you're a sea otter? We like talked to them and like investigated like, like, like PIs, like, and we looked on their like Instagrams and stuff to like kind of see like what animals that like maybe they they like or like post a lot. But you didn't select from a list of pre. There, oh, there was a list. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did There's so many animals. Whale? It, wasn't, it wasn't random. Okay. Did Brittany choose whale? No. Really? She was opal. Opal. Oh, that's a yeah, good she one. Loves yeah. Whoa. Who? So if anyone Brittany. knows oh. or thinks. What? If they know what they're. Rock or not rock, mineral, plant or animal. Rob, will you be a mineral? No. I like animals. <laughs> okay. I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd be a black bear. Oh, why? I don't know. They just lumber around the forest all day, eating berries and fish, and exploring mm. and sleep all winter. Sounds pretty great. It does, <laughs> yeah. kind of. Got the big, nice, warm coat, but although know, not too not too hot in the summer, they can just chill. I saw one that looked like it had mange, and that didn't look too fun. <laughs> had what? Mange. 
Oh, that's not what you want. No. <laughs> I don't want to be a mangy bear. I want to be a regular <laughs> black bear. You want to be a, a beautiful, elegant black bear? Yeah. Like the ones that they put on those, like, picture blankets? Like a picture blanket? Yeah, like those blankets made out of like a lot of different colors of thread and it forms like a picture like you could put like an actual picture on it oh hmm. i don't know what that is so i can't speak to whether the bear i want to be is the a picture blanket is yes bear. all right yes <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny anyone else i think i'd be a jaguar i like those jaguar why yeah. well they're they like their quiet time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're solitary creatures, but, and they're, I don't know. They've got like um, a certain prowess to them that I really like. I like big cats. I never would want to work with them mm -hmm. or study them, but I like them, yeah. Paula? I think I would be a killer whale. They are really smart. Um, hmm. And you're really smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they live in the ocean, and I would like to live in the ocean as well. Chat says, um, I want to be a sea jelly, so I never have to have a thought again. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, oh. Chat. No thoughts, just vibes. <laughs> just gel. <laughs> Anyone else? Y'all are having a lot of time to think about Maybe it. Maybe a crab, because like that's nature's perfect form. Crab? Yeah. Shark is also nature's perfect form. Ooh, yeah, that's that's true. That's Wait, true. Maybe makes either a crab or a shark. What makes them nature's perfect form? Everything convergently evolves into crabs, so there's got to be something going on there. Unless it's already a shark. Unless it's already a shark, in which case it stays a shark. Yeah. Um, I don't know. A lot of people eat crabs. That's true. Do you want to get eaten? I could be a shark that eats crabs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Crab eating shark. Mm -hmm. Is there already sharks that eat crabs? There's got to be, right? I'll look it up. Ask our pal the Google. The Google later. There's like some like bottom dwelling sharks that eat little things. You'd think so. You'd think so, yeah. This website says sharks do enjoy eating crab and other crustaceans such as lobsters. One type of shark, the smooth dogfish, loves to eat crabs and lobsters. With Old Bay. With Old Bay and some <laughs> butter. That'd be pretty good. Eat crabs, be a shark. Uh, I could go for some crab right now. Mm. Yep. What would you be, Rob? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rob would be a turtle. <laughs> a marine turtle or a terrestrial turtle? I don't know. No, they were talking about gray parrots earlier today, and that sounded pretty cool. I actually think you would be something like a parrot. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're going to set that next watch up. We'll get down there, set up, do our reset, do the white balance, get out of the chair, and go to bed. Oh. <laughs> um, intelligent, but also slightly annoying. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Who, me? I'm, I'm, no. <laughs> I'm offended no. by that. Only slightly? Oh. <laughs> they live a very long time, which is great. Why is that great? Longevity. Who mm. doesn't want that? Mm. Some. And they eat crabs. <laughs> Do they? I know. <laughs> Rob, you said you like turtles. Have you seen the winch turtle? No. Oh, What's yeah, the, the winch, winch turtle. turtle. Let's see if I can do this here. No, this is not a chance. Oh, no, there's there's this one little snippet on YouTube or something where they ask a little kid, they're interviewing him, and he's all dressed up for Halloween. And they <laughs> said, well, what are you? And he goes, I oh. like turtles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I found 
found a baby turtle in Florida. Oh. It was so cute. Oh, here it comes. Winch turtle. The turtle. Why? Oh, cool. Is that? It's hard to see, but is that the Finding Nemo turtle? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's a photo of a turtle. It's like an actual oh. turtle. I mean, it's an actual turtle, not a photo. Sorry, it's a. <laughs> it's a real turtle. <laughs> it's a window into the tank that's behind the gauge panel. That's that's what drives the winch. Yeah. Turtle power. Turtle powered winch. <laughs> um, chat's putting in what they'd be. One one chat said, "I would like to be a cassowary so I could be a grump and not feel bad." Good oh. thinking. Uh, one person said, "I'd be a moth." They didn't say why. They probably like lamps. <laughs> what's the uh, What's the name of the? Uh, large rodent oh, so in Capybara. Brazil. Capybara. Capybara, yeah, that's right. That'd be a pretty chill animal. Hey, uh, Moth Chatter, how do you feel about the lighting aisle in Home Depot? <laughs> or Dome dome Hippo, as hey, it it's, were. It's working. <laughs> <laughs> it is working. I just pressed the wrong button. Someone else said narwhal because they're tusks. Unicorn of the sea. Hmm. I feel like it would yeah. be really weird to have a tusk or a <laughs> horn. I guess you get used to it. Did I say narwhal? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Do you know not all, so most tusked narwhals are males, but some females have tusks too? And also, some narwhals have two tusks. <gasps> Ooh. The tusks are a, just a big tooth. Yeah. Sometimes they'll have two big tooths. Tooths. So are they like an orthodontist nightmare? Imagine being a narwhal orthodontist. <laughs> According to Google, one in 500 males grow two tusks. That's yeah. amazing. I thought it was one in a thousand, but I believe one in 500. And I think it's one in... Uh, 100 or 1 in 50 uh, females grow tusks? Something like that? I can't remember now. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I thought all of them had tusks, but I guess not. Dave, did you say what you'd be? Nope. <laughs> That's Dave's word of the day. <laughs> nope. nope. Um, um, I'm not good at these kinds of things. I like what I am. Aww. Where I am. What I do. We like that too. Who I do it with. It's yeah, Alex has that. I'm surprised no one know. said bird or anything. I don't know. Bird? No one said a plant. I was considering crow for a bit. Crow's a good one. Well, I did. I said parrot. I'm Isn't a, bird. a cassowary a bird? Yeah, I did this. I said bird too. Yeah. Parrot. Um, Elias, what about you? What would you be? Plant, mineral, animal? I like what I am. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm with Dave on these. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moth answered back. They said, any nice light, I can call my home. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a dangerous road there. Yeah. Here, moth. Be careful. Don't fly into the sun. Icarus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd change my animal from a sea otter. I, I like sea otters, but I don't know if it fits my personality. I feel like I'd more be like a, uh, like a sea lion. That's a little bit goofy, but also like kind of smart. I don't know. Chad also said I'd want to be a possum so I could have so many teeth and thumbs on my feet. <laughs> what would you do with them? Yeah, what would you do with your foot thumbs? What about that prehensile tail, though? That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I think I'd be a raven before crow. Yeah. More Why solitary? Less garbage? Less garbage. <laughs> more more foresty. 
Then you could go into farmer fields. Yeah, there's no <laughs> such thing as scare ravens. <laughs> Have you ever seen wild packs of ravens like working yeah, together? Yeah, oh it's God, wild. It's so cool. It's so cool. I oh. saw, um, came up on a, it's on a murder of ravens. I don't know what the collective term is. Now it's for ravens, whatever. A group of ravens eating, uh, I believe it was a bear carcass. Mm -hmm. Wow. They were, but they had like some stationed up in the trees to look for predators around and they'd cycle through mm -hmm. and they'd make sounds when we were walking up. like. It was really cool to see the, the team dynamic there. Really, really, really <laughs> impressive. Such brilliant animals. I bet they'd be really good at piloting ROVs. <laughs> Just <laughs> imagine uh, a science party line full of ravens. They can mimic, right? Yeah, they have like the an amazing vocabulary. Chat, we could be ravens. You wouldn't know. I mean, unless they're on channel three and they could clearly oh. see that we're not ravens. Or so you think. Ravens in human suits. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we are. Are we one raven in one human suit? No, or multiple. We multiple. We're, we're each a flock. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're <laughs> working together. Okay. <laughs> like kids in a trench coat? Or yeah, like, like that. <laughs> Someone said, is someone drumming? They didn't say that on the chat, but it sounded like someone was drumming. Right. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make sure it was drumming and not like, I don't know, Anquiswatch banging on the outside of the control <laughs> van or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone in the chat said, a teacher once ended the year by telling everyone what animal they were like. I and then they said, "I'm still trying to figure out how I'm like a wombat." Uh, I, do you poop cubes? <laughs> <laughs> don't tell us if you do. I don't want to know. No. Um, I love wombats. That'd actually though. be pretty cool. Yeah, they are. Uh, possum answered back to us. They said, I would multitask at work. I could be so productive with extra thumbs. I work in theater tech up in the catwalks, so I could get so much done with thumb, feet, and prehensile tail. Ooh. That'd be cool. Just imagine a possum working <laughs> on um, <laughs> catwalks. I feel like chat chat's a, a bunch of animals now. Like, Have you ever like been on a Google document yeah. with all the animals? <laughs> The anonymous, anonymous animals. Yeah, that's that's chat. They're the anonymous animals. Um, not saying that chat's like a pack of wild animals. That's not. Not at all. No. No, no absolutely not. <laughs> no. no, definitely not. They're more like ravens. Yeah. <laughs> I think it is a murder of ravens. Is it a murder of ravens? I know yeah. it's a murder of crows. Murder of ravens. Oh. Is it a murder of all for all corvids? So that includes what magpies and jays. Well, that'd be a flock or something. What? Oh. More snacks. <gasps> Chocolate covered pineapples. Oh goodness what? gracious! What? That sounds amazing. Saving the best for last. Thanks, Dave. These are whoa. These are like Easter eggs. These big things. <laughs> They're the size oh. of wombat poops. No. Are these <laughs> wow. cubes? I have no idea about that, but. <laughs> There. You should look into it. It's pretty cool. Thank you, Thank you Dave. Dave. You're welcome. Mm. Front row. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Jason in chat said they would be a Zoar kid, hydrothermal vent fish. I don't know if I pronounced cool. that right. Pretty cool. It would be like being in the spa all the time. <laughs> That's true. Okay, this, oh. this pineapple's really good, but it would be a lot better if it was dark chocolate. Mm. It's very good. It is very good. You're looking the gift pineapple in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and Costco didn't have dark chocolate versions of it, unfortunately. Do they make dark chocolate versions? I don't know. Probably somebody does somewhere, but somewhere. this was all I could find. 
great snacking today. Just know that whatever animal I would want to be, I wouldn't want to be like something that could be preyed upon. Hmm. I want to be the top of the food chain. <laughs> I wonder if, if in that activity someone chose a, a plant. In the one we did? There was a couple. Um, I think. No. But if you want to be the top of the food chain, maybe you should be an asteroid. Is that a mineral? Or <laughs> it, it's a heavenly body. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you would want to be a mineral, period. Like, what, what's no, going to eat a mineral? No, that's boring. <laughs> then you're just, like, well, sitting we, there. Minerals eat other salt. minerals. You're just sitting there, mm. being a mineral. Just you don't being get a to mineral. move around or explore, or at least not within the time frames we're used to. But you yeah, could but live for so long. You live for so long, your time frames are different. You could not I don't know live, if I but you could that. be a mineral for so long. I don't know if I want but that. I, but you don't do anything. <laughs> Unless you're you sure? radioactive. <laughs> Am I sure that I don't want that? No, I was gonna sure, are you sure you don't know anything? Paula said, no. you don't know anything. No. <laughs> you don't, you wouldn't do Once anything. Once we get our human to mineral translator going. Oh, you stole it from me. <laughs> <laughs> That's slow. my bit. Got to be quicker than that. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> I would love a human to raven tra or raven to human translator. That That'd would be, be cool. The ravens themselves are a human to raven translator. Um, someone in the chat said, yes. yeah, I think you all are definitely ravens in trench coats. You talk about snacks too much. Good point. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. We that's pick a good up point. shiny things we all do the time. Pick also up a good shiny point. Things. Yeah. Ooh. I didn't even know that about myself, but now I know that I'm a raven in a trench coat. I'm not even wearing a trench coat. <laughs> Who knew? Cough, cough. What? Yeah, I read an article one time out of the Boston Globe that uh, for some reason they mass turned bite. They kept finding a lot of dead crows, and it took them a while to figure it out. And you know how crows they usually have a lookout, mm -hmm. and uh, other ones. So the uh, all the other ones were feeding on the road. And they, you know, all of a sudden a, a semi would come through and it'd like end up killing a bunch of them. It ends up, you know, the dead crows didn't realize the the lookout crow was saying, ka, ka. Uh. Uh. <laughs> so was there really an article in the Boston Globe? No. <laughs> it's been a month. <laughs> the collective groan. <laughs> Was that the sound effect of the day? Or <laughs> <laughs> collective groan, dad joke. Chat said, bald eagle, you could soar through the skies and eat fish all day. It'd be fun to dive bomb the water, grabbing fish and flying back to the nest to feed the young. Yeah. We, we the place I fish up in Maine, they'd had a resident eagle there we called Eddie. And just about any time someone would catch a fish, it would He'd dive bomb it. and try <laughs> to steal it. Yeah, they steal fish <laughs> most of the time. time. Have you ever heard of, they did some study that they figured out that eagles have the like couple's Ikea problem. Where they'll like argue a bunch over building the nest. Really? Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's kind of sweet. <laughs> like, it's really IKEA cute. Problem. If your relationship survives IKEA, then you know it's strong. Yeah. I, wait, do Move you guys or Costco? Do you guys yeah. have problems in IKEA because we just have nothing but fun in IKEA? No, I, I think had, IKEA is a fun I've place. I've never been to IKEA. I don't wow. think I've ever been to an IKEA. Do they have IKEAs in Canada? With yeah. a partner. Oh. oh. <laughs> I think you know maybe with the right person, it's a hot date. It was a hot date when I yeah, went. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's for sure. We just get lost in the meatball sauce. <laughs> you find a blahage. Were you shopping for furniture to decorate a home though? Because they hear that the tip off, like when you're um, choosing your furniture. You can't just go for meatballs and expect it to fail. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, no, we didn't need to go shopping for furniture. Because it's the stress that's placed. Well, we did go couch shopping, but we went to Raymore and Flanagan. It's got to be Ikea. <laughs> but we don't need anything. We just need it's, the meatballs. It's balls. assembling the furniture. That's part oh. of it, too, right? No, I do that. Mm -hmm. That's fine. That's easy. Yeah. I, I, it's, still, it's a fun puzzle, I think. I'm still thinking about the the eagles. 
decorating their nest. No, move the stick over there. No, I don't like it there. No, move it over there. That's kind of what happens. They have them like live stream eagle cams where you can watch them in the nest. Those are fascinating. Yeah, those are really cool. Hey, screw Nautilus Live. <laughs> go on go, SPL. Go watch some no, no, statement. not on SPL. We love Nautilus. That was completely a joke. You should be watching our stream. Good Everyone save. Everyone should no be one watching our us. stream. <laughs> tell your friends. Tell your friends. <laughs> tell your relatives. Go to the Eagle Cam and tell the people watching it that they should be watching Nautilus. Tell the Eagles. <laughs> tell the Eagles Nautilus. that they should be watching Nautilus. Change that camera into a web page. And then in 12 hours, go and watch the Eagles. Yeah. The birds, not the football team. I mean, if you want. Eh. No. <laughs> Someone said I'd live in the Florida Keys and be a big, lazy manatee. Mm. Um, we have a question, and I think it's fitting for our last dive. Uh-oh. What was the coolest thing you've seen during this expedition? Ooh, and I want all of you to answer. You Dumbo know my answer. octopus. Dumbo octopus for Dave? Absolutely, every time. Was that the spirit one, Dave? Well, the one that I got to shoot for a long time, that was a good one. Well, I mean, yeah, there's one, the one, that, the log looked like a spear yesterday. That's oh, that was I, a... I like that one. The, the squid? Yeah, squid. On the 1,000 flag? It was this yep. morning. That was this morning. Was this morning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> we all blur together. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I like the kunj. <laughs> Trevor, <laughs> is it the stuff you used to say the word kunj again? <laughs> Mine would be the woodfall. Um, I don't know, all the squat lobsters. All, every all. single squat. <laughs> Especially with, um, the one we collected. We collected a lot. Um. Yeah, but that one, that <laughs> one. That one oh. lobster. The last one. The big one? Yeah. yeah. That was pretty cool. I like that uh, like coral cliff that we explored, the same dive as the Dumbo octopus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that was really cool. Yeah, it's hard to choose, you know. <laughs> we saw a lot of cool stuff. Um, let me think. I mean, <coughs> it's really hard to choose. I love everything. Like, it's, it's really, really cool. Um, like yeah, I think the the coral too will. Uh, no, I think I would. It would be um, what's the name? Um, something Gorgia. Um, Paragorgia. Oh. I feel like it's Gorgia. Gorgia. Yes. What does it, it look like? It is a Gorgia. Yeah, that the one. one that one that is spiral. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah. It is a Gorgia magnis spiralis. Yeah, that's yeah. So gorgeous. Yeah, those are yeah, beautiful. Was, yeah. Firework okay. coral. Oh, it's called the firewall. Firework yeah. coral. <laughs> Firewood. Firework, like the Walk. Oh, I see. Yeah. 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 Is Let's it see. me? It's me. Um, no, Rob hasn't answered. What's for you, Rob? The rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Rob yeah, said the, the squid yesterday. Or the sheet <laughs> flow. Or this morning, the dirty one. <laughs> We um, all love the rocks, thanks, thanks to this amazing geologist we have. I do love the thing. rocks now too, yeah. Um, but I think for me it was that first uh, Chana Cops, even though we saw a bunch later, that was the first thing that really got me emotional. The little feats. The little feats. Um, and then the Dumbo got me pretty worked up. Yeah. I think I might have cried. <laughs> yeah, I cried for both. <laughs> but then the Camara. I wanted to cry after seeing the squad lobster we collected uh, in, in the lab. Which Bec one? <laughs> <laughs> the last one, the, the big one, because the I, have been, I have been studying them for seven years, uh, especially this group uh, that I'm kind of expert in. And, and all the specimens I have studied uh, were in formalin or in 
ethanol after 30 years, 20 years, 10 years as the man, as the less. So it was so great for me to see him like almost alive. Yeah. Well, I mean, you did see it alive on the yeah, screen. Yeah, but um, it was bit. crawling around in the bucket. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so you're talking about the white ones? Yep. Off from the wood falls? How many squat lobsters have we sampled this cruise that you have not seen uh, fresh, I guess, All before? All of them. All of them? None, none of them have been? No, because wow. I have been uh, working with a fresh sample, but from shallow water. So I have never oh, had cool. the chance to study them, like fresh, recently collected for the deep, deep water squat lobsters. Oh, it's really so cool. This, is, this has been a great opportunity for me, and I'm super grateful and happy. That's awesome. That's right? great. That's great. I'll never forget about squat lobsters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they'll never forget about us. <laughs> they really won't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they'll never. <laughs> they'll also never remember us. Oh. Oh. And I, I mean, I think they're pretty traumatized. Mm, not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Well, the ones we didn't pick up. So how many lob uh, squat lobsters did we collect, Bola? How many? Yeah, on this 20, cruise. 21. 21. Uh, 20, 21 sample events, but some of the samples were including two specimens. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, great collection. Thank you. I'm sure yeah. on all the previous seamounts we've, we've gone to, there's... um little tiny squat size posters put up with uh, Paula and Herc's face on it saying watch out for these two. <laughs> Have you seen this in ROV? And another thing I, I um, could I, I would like to highlight it was this um, dive with so many caves and Nice geomorphology, remember? Was it the one with the octopus? That dive was amazing. That whole oh, that was the one we shone the light through the hole? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah was that, that was the one outside the hole. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that, that's that was my was best dive. Too. Yeah. That was that was amazing. Yeah, that was the highlight dive, I think, for me. Um, so, for those of you just tuning in, we are 2,548 meters. Uh, we are um, descending our vehicles. We're going down to the seafloor. Um, it says time to bottom about 10 minutes. Is that correct, Trevor? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, and we are exploring an uncharacterized flat top guillot in the northern portion of Sculpin Ridge. And this is our last dive of this expedition at Johnson Atoll. It should last about 12 hours. How deep are we planning on going? All the way. <laughs> really? <laughs> 2,905. No, I think we're starting a little shallower. We're at waypoint four. Yeah, so it's 2,900 ish. Yeah, yeah. 2,851. Yeah, 2,851. If you're ever in doubt, you can look at the whiteboard, which actually dictates how deep the ocean shall be. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what? It sure does. Where? So over on the. Yeah. Oh, we can't really see that. Yeah, or at least I can't. There's a glare. It's far. That's for security reasons. <laughs> so we got to a lot of power small. to be able to say how deep the ocean will be, you know? Don't so take just that me? Sorry? Is it just for security reasons for me? Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Chad asks how long we'll be, be down at the bottom. So the dive is 12 hours, so we'll probably be on the bottom for what, like 10-ish hours? Yeah, 8 to 10. 8 to 10. If it's two hours for descent, and it's going to be basin. even more at the top. Oh, I guess we'll be shallower, so two hours up. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're going to. If we make it to the last waypoint, we're going to be at two thousand one hundred thirty-eight. Question for Paula: Have you found any 
squats new to you or new to science? Well, uh, I suspect we have collected several new species. Mo uh, all of the specimens we have collected are new records for Johnstone Atoll and some of them for the Central Pacific. And I need to study them uh, with a microscope and do dissection. All right, can you slow down, please? I can't keep up. Everything. Roger. Slow it down. Let's go with 20. All right, down to 20. <coughs> We overshot it. Any um, predictions about what we're gonna see first? Sand. Oh. Rock. <laughs> rock, sand. <laughs> Mostly sand, but some rock. Well, Water. I have a better prediction. Yeah? Na nothing, because <laughs> 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 what is gonna end before? No! No, our watch is gonna end in 20 minutes, and we have 10 minutes. Okay. We'll, we'll and then we're going to do our setup and uh, weight balance. And, and then uh, we're going to bounce. Bounce. Go to bed. Bounce. But we'll be back in the morning. Just in time to recover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to be the, the taxi watch this yep. time, I think. That's okay. We get to enjoy each other's company. That means I need to think of more things to talk about. Well, we can always do the I would rather... Oh, yeah, you love those, <laughs> don't you? Yeah. Do what's that? The would you rather. Oh. Paula, you need to you need to bring some. Yeah, Paula. No, I'm very, I'm very bad. You're getting homework. You have to find some or think oh. of some. You have any lobster would I'm you rathers? Sure. Would you rather be mini lobsies or <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't know any other species? think about it. Would you rather sample that one very <laughs> special lobster that you never thought you'd see? Or would you rather sample 10 of the ones you hope to see and probably will see again no, later in your I, life? I would rather sample the most special one. Would you rather be a lobster that <laughs> roams, ar <laughs> <laughs> roams around, like a Munodopsis that like roams around the seafloor and like maybe doesn't have a lot of like protection but like has the ability to go like wherever it wants or would you rather be a lobster trapped in a sponge that um, has shelter but you can't go anywhere uh, i don't know maybe i would like to have the sponge as my friend as well <laughs> that's my friend <laughs> do you think they can talk to each other it seems a bit codependent do you think so they? you don't want freedom <laughs> Would you would you rather slurp oh. or put in the bio box? <laughs> would you rather be slurped or put in the bio box <laughs> if you were a lobster? I'd want to be slurped. <laughs> <laughs> what a wild you ride. Me, you are a lobster. <laughs> what a wild ride that would be, like a water slide. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hang on to the coral like, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> a great time. Um, I would rather be slurped too. <laughs> <laughs> you're you can see in the you can jar. see out of the slurp jar if That's you're in the true. jar, but you can't see out of the bio box. Yeah, it's all dark in there. I mean, I feel like wouldn't that be more calming? Being dark, yeah, yeah I guess that's what you're used to. And mm. When you're in the slurp jar, you could see like the other things that are stuck in there with you. You might get roommates if you're in the slurp jar. And they were roommates. They were roommates. We had our lobster roommates um, in the slurp jar. With a sponge and corals. Yeah. But you might get a rock in the bio box. <laughs> Ooh, that's oh. actually, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't that be a treat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, lobster treat. <laughs> <laughs> Although the rock might squat lobster. Yeah. The rock might squat lobster. It might squat the lobster. We never put rocks on top of bio. <laughs> <laughs> Data chiming in. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fantasy world, Morocco. We can do whatever we put our minds to. Oh, goodness Good gracious. point, rocks. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, 
how did we get here? I feel like I zoned out and then I came well, back to and everyone see, was talking about wildness. About a month ago, <laughs> we all flew on planes from oh, different areas. Oh, okay, And then yeah. we all got on this ship. Come on now. And then we <laughs> sailed out. And we went and like, then there was this hurricane. Around, yeah, we went really far south and we were like, are we going to see these birds? And then we went back up and we... <laughs> and we're all going to wake up and it's been a dream. No. <laughs> that would be exciting. Cody, does that mean we like get to do it for real after? Uh, oh. No. <laughs> you wake up and realize the ocean doesn't actually exist. <laughs> and we're stuck in a bio box. No. So. And you're a lobster. <laughs> you wake up and you're a lobster. <laughs> uh, on a speck of dust on a dead lion. <laughs> or a rock. <laughs> You wake up and you're a rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. And then you see the craft arm coming towards you. <laughs> yeah. And you can't run away. <laughs> no. You're frozen. This is no. a thriller now. <laughs> it's the movie Everything Everywhere All at Once. Four beams. Four beams. Four. Is this an all stop? Mm, it's an all keep going, but okay. maybe an all stick out. All stick out. We're going all stick out. We're uh, 86 meters off bottom. Woohoo! Oh, when we recover, I get to say the final, final shrimp count of the whole entire expedition. Oh, yes, you do. Oh. That'll be great. I'll have to do some math. Yes, you will. Right now, we're at two. Oh. There's probably more than that, but I'm not paying attention. Those didn't count. It's fine. So many shrimp. I really like those professional shrimp this morning, though. Like yeah, the, the really shrimp. The hard the body ones, yeah. The, yeah. The buff <laughs> shrimp. Those were cool. I, I um, saved a picture of one in, in there. It's their eyes for me, man. Mm -hmm. There were just like these orange dots on either side of their head. Windows to the soul. Mm. I don't... As, you, as they say. I don't know. Are they window? I don't really see them at, for, for, for shrimp. Are they windows? They're windows to the shrimp's soul. Make a better door than a window. The shrimps look pretty <laughs> empty to me, to be honest. Are you saying shrimps have no soul? No, I'm saying that they like really armored themselves up. Mm. Mm. They're really closed off. They don't, they're a little bit of a mystery. You have to look lovingly into their eyes. Then it'll open up. <laughs> they'll open up their heart to you. Oh, Note taken. <laughs> Blue water talk is always very <laughs> interesting, entertaining. <laughs> that's our job. At least that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> so how about the weather? 41 meters off bottom. Looking good. Uh, you want me to speed up on that? No, I'm just trying to get ahead of you. Okay. Because I can just back back right up. Roger. Well, chat just made a really interesting proposition. They're asking if they could guess the shrimp. Well, okay, well, first off, they said, if I guess the shrimp count, do I get to be on the next expedition? No. <laughs> but the chat <laughs> guessing the shrimp count thing's intriguing me. <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion that they will be more accurate than us. Yeah. They'll go back and yeah. like watch the whole month. In the, <laughs> in, the, in the Discord, you know, all the super chatters, they'll put it together like that. I have a feeling our team on shore might be doing something for the shrimp count. Bottom in sight. Roger. In Keep coming down. Sand. Let me know when I'll stop. Ripple. It's sand. We don't need to get a rock here. Roger that. <laughs> okay. Tiny little rock sample. Oh, I won. <laughs> I'm still 32 meters up. Yeah. Sorry, got to keep up with you there. Oh, is that a shrimp? You can turn on your auto heading now. Roger. Gonna enable my thrusters first. That might, that might help. Why do your thrusters say they're going somewhere already? Do you want to zero the laterals and the yaws? Oh. 
know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah those ones. Yeah, there we go. No? Hmm. That's neat. Turn mm -hmm. auto heading on and off a couple times. Yeah, I turned that off. Hmm. Come up on Delta, please. Roger, coming up on Delta. Woo! Yeah, you're spinning around like crazy. Why are you spinning around like crazy? Let's turn all your thrusters off. They're not doing okay. the right thing. Hmm. I'm gonna focus stuff here. That is not what Roger. you want. Roger. Hmm. What happened to my thrusters? Zero. Zero. Yeah, yaw was yawing. I just oh, zeroed the yaw. Oh, yaw was yawing. Okay. Alright, now you can spin to port. Roger. Turn auto heading on. That would help. Come up on Delta a little bit there. Where am I going? This way. <coughs> you can come all the way around. Roger. And can I get, please, bubble on craft? Bubble on craft. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> boop, boop. Oh, right there. Let's try that on for size. That'll do it. Ooh, beautiful. <coughs> okay, white balance action. Here we go. Black balance is first. Hello. is complete and store that. <laughs> okay. Done with white balance. Thank you. And I'm out of here. See ya. Bonk. All right, everybody, we are changing watches. Um, we just got down to the bottom at 2,839 meters. Uh, this is the 8 hey. to 12 signing you off. You happy with that reset? Yeah, like, let me. Um, and hopefully we will see you in the morning. Yeah, you set it to for the recovery. USB, but like, we can yeah. just. Bye bye. You can That's do another one, yeah? You happy now? Yeah, I'm happy. Okay, cool. All right, well, let me come back a little bit towards Atalanta, get them set up for success. Burp, burp. How you doing? All right, here we go. Is this a uh, H two one time twenty three fifty three? How are we going? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, what does that say?
don't know, is that six maybe? Five and a half. Yeah. I'm gonna put it like a a tape, a colored tape on the outside. Yeah. Hi, Alan. Are you going to eat this? No, that's, yeah, yeah. Thanks, buddy. That was Annabelle. What was it? Yeah. I knew I liked her. Hello, everyone. We are completing our watch change. My name is Ashley Glickley. I'm a science communication fellow and teacher from Louisville, Kentucky. And I think we're going to keep our introductions pretty short um, so that we can start exploring. So we're going to start in the back row, and I'll just let everybody introduce themselves. Hello, everyone. Uh, here's Haisa. I am part of the science team, and um, I am here as a taxonomist of the network with Ocean Census. My main focus is in deep sea corals, mainly sea pans and black corals, and. I hope with this soft segment, I am I'm have expectations to see some sipens in this dive. Hello, my name is Leela. I am the science manager on this expedition, and I on this watch am the watch lead, uh, which is a role that I split on this watch with Dwight, the expedition leader. But I get the last one. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hi, my name is Jane Carrick. Um, I am the data logger for this watch. I'll be taking notes of everything that we do along the way and uh, all of our sample collections. I'm a PhD student at the University of Rhode Island studying um, uh, environmental factors and distribution of cold water coral reefs. And it's been my first time on the EV Nautilus for this cruise and I've had a wonderful, wonderful time and I'm really excited to have our last watch tonight. All right, we're going to move up to the front row. Hi, my name is Panos. I'm the video engineer for uh, this uh, last uh, for me watch. Okay, good evening, morning, afternoon. I am Michael. I am the uh, Atlanta pilot. I'm a PhD student out of UCLA. I do all the things that uh, the Herc pilot doesn't want to do or can't do or. It's not that I can't do things. <laughs> I let you do things. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm just glad we cleared that up. <laughs> Everybody, my name is James Barnett. I'm the Herc pilot for the 12th to 4 shift. 
a little sad that it's over. I feel like, on one hand, like we just got out here, but I also feel like we've been out here for five months. So. And we're just going to give a little bit well, of change. Well, that's changing faces. It's time for our navigator to switch. So yes, this is our last dive of this expedition. And our depth is 2,840 meters right now. Um, did they already white balance and everything? Yes. Cool. Great. So yeah. we'll just give it to Lynette a second. We're good to go. Look, there's sand. I feel like we haven't seen sand. I know. We haven't been over a ton of sandy bottom. Lucky us. Unlucky Haisa. <laughs> I hate yeah. sand. Oh, no. Sand hates you. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have against sand? What's your beef with sand? It gets everywhere. <laughs> okay, Where? Anakin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm here to cut Bye. all your references. You. Don't worry. Um, you get me. It's a terrible movie. <laughs> I love that movie. <laughs> so, Lynette, our yeah. priority uh, on this watch is just to make progress since we're really trying to, uh, within this dive, make it up to the top. Okay. So, um, yeah, continuous ship moves would be great, and we can maybe start at point two and bump to point three if that seems appropriate. Okay. Um, and if we're, if we're lagging because we're zooming on things, uh, James and Lynette, please let us know. Okay. Yeah. I'll keep them on because James will zoom in on things. James will zoom in on every <laughs> single Oteroid. Yep. Yeah, so. Zoom. The Brittle Stars? Yeah, okay. only, yeah. only the Brittle Stars. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I'm not going to stop that. We need that. That's sweet. That's for uh, posterity. The montage. Yeah, montage. that's for the posterity. <laughs> posterity. Okay, are we ready for a move? Yes. Two, sweet. two, zero. Two, where two, it's zero. At. Get ready. Two, zero is where it's at. All right. Bridge, nav. That's this way. Sure is. Ooh, it's very interesting that there's kind of like. Good morning, Bridge. Can we have a little, three zero uh, meters two two zero, please? A little bulge right here, and so there it seems Thank not you. to be. And point two knots. Not so to sorry. be pebbles and organics in the ripples of right there. Error. So a little bit of Perfect. a mound. Thank you. Yeah, I think you'd be quite flat enough, but after you'd be da, da, da. very steep, very da, da. weak. Navigator, did you want to introduce yourself? Oh, sure. <laughs> zoom in, I'm Bob? Lynette. I'm the navigator. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, I was wondering who that was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who is this person over there? <laughs> I asked the bridge to move oh, the ship. Oh. <laughs> Good pull. That's a rat tail. And we zoom out a little bit? Whoa. Looks zoom like out. it's Tiny out, maybe Kumba. It's gone. That's how Where'd you go? I miss you so. <laughs> it's going to be one of those kind of watches. <laughs> 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 I didn't musical, I think. Da, 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 da. <laughs> We're waiting oh for Adeline to catch us. I'm not just randomly looking for a baby That's fish. That's so all good. <laughs> huh. We could zoom on the organic stuff there. Like, what's in these ripples? That fluff. On fluff, the fluff. Sea fluff. We haven't seen many acorn worms since earlier in the expedition. Mm, yeah. Well, there's not a lot of oak down here, so. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was delayed. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, there is it. The triclops. Oh, you see the fish or something? Yeah. Oh, well, let's get this one going. Ah. <laughs> well, that's we not what you wanted. That's not what I'd like. I don't know. That's that's just what they have up for some reason. I guess we don't have the cinema um, cam. No, we can. Uh, Panos, is there? Is that PC4? That is